Hi everyone, my name is Wesley Chen and I will be moderator of this month's webinar. This month's topic will focus on the AC technology with the EMG 2881. With us here today, we have Patrick Moreno, our product marketing manager. Just before we start, I would like to quickly point out the Q&A chat field on the right-hand side of your screen. If you have any questions throughout the duration of the webinar, please feel free to use it as Patrick and I will be both checking these questions and answering them at the end of the webinar. That being said, here's Patrick. Thank you, Wesley. And thank you everyone for attending this webinar, this month's webinar, Ethernet Gateway Series, and taking advantage of AC technology with the EMG 2881. I'm your uh, presenter today, Patrick Merrill, Product Marketing Manager for Key Account Sales in North America. So there's a lot of challenges with offering home Wi-Fi and how to decide and what type of products to use in your subscriber's environment to offer your services. There is definitely a need for home networking. In the days of the DMARC, dropping the connection and then leaving are over. Really, you essentially have to provide a little bit more service in this competitive landscape. Then bringing in that gateway to provide the home networking offers uh, the ability to provide Wi-Fi and other services, but if you put it into site, some sort of media cabinet, then you're, you're faced with the challenges of drawing that connection closer into the home, into the central portion where, where the, the subscriber is gonna utilize the technology. So how do you decide heads or tails of what type of home Wi-Fi router? There's so many different variations, different feature sets, and how do you know that that's gonna work in your environment? The subscriber, they, they're wanting you know, a fast, reliable connection, something that's easy to use, that works and performs well in the home, as well as aesthetically pleasing. You know, they don't want some strange looking foreign box that sits on their uh, table. They wanna have something that looks nice. And definitely looking towards low to no additional cost when they, when they subscribe to your service. The service provider, on the other hand, is looking for a performance Ethernet gateway device, something that has the latest home networking technologies and works in their network, in their environment, also supports the features that they need for their service offering, as well as the ability to have remote management in, in the device to be able to accommodate the customer and maintain. And the bottom line for the company is a low cost, something that's really affordable, cheap, if you will. So who's buying these devices? You know, your subscribers, they could be tech savvy. You know, they'll go out and bring their own device. Or someone who really skimps on watching their, their bottom line, penny pincher, you know, they're gonna go look for those discount routers at those big box stores or online and they'll, you know, expect it to work like a very expensive router. But most of the time, the subscriber is just gonna go with whatever you're recommending to use for your service. So that's that, that challenge. What do we do? You know, do we offer something that's just off the shelf? You know, there's so many different products out there to do the same thing. Or are you looking for something more professional grade to, to work in your environment and provide the services that you're trying to deliver for your subscriber? So who's going to support you? You know, you may have a whole line of different types of solutions, different interfaces, different features, and you're going to be have, have to know each one of those interfaces to be able to support your subscriber, which could be a daunting task. That's where Zydel comes in, the advantage. We have well over 25 years of experience. End-to-end -end portfolios specializing in those endpoint gateways whether it's a DSL CPE, and what we're talking about today, Ethernet routing. What really sets us apart is our evaluation program, so you can try this out in your network and make sure it works. And we provide you a helping hand. We have live technical support based in the United States, in California, with these engineers to help you through those steps of evaluating that product. 
some of those innovations that we go through that we've 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 put together. Back in 2009, we had our first Zizo product, a managed gateway with TR69. That was an MBG420. In 2010, we came out with the next version of that, the TR69 managed router with the ability of gigabit on the WAN and LAN. That's our MBG4604. Then in 2011, we came out with our managed router that works with, you know, a whole myriad of leading industry ACS vendors. This was our EMG 2306. And now we're here to induce in 2018 our latest addition. This is the EMG 2881. Again, TR69 managed router that actually completes our migration from 802.11n into AC. So again, that migration, we, we, we worked on uh, a project to migrate from existing N and go into the latest technologies of 11AC, and we're able to accomplish that. So now we have a complete line of Ethernet routers in our EMG series with the addition of the EMG 2881. So for the gateways themselves, some key things to look for when you're searching out an Ethernet gateway is you know, does it work in your central, with your central office equipment, the performance level? Does it include latest technologies like 11AC with Wave 2? And help with the lower cost of ownership as well as remote management. So we ensure that these products are going to work in most central office equipment. So whatever vendor you're using, we will do our best to accommodate that and interop with that for your applications like fiber to the home. The solutions itself, you know, performance, CPU, we have the LAN networking and WAN with gigabit technology, so it ensures the high availability of bandwidth delivery, as well as the Wi-Fi chipset and the array of antennas, as well as radios built into the product to provide the performance that you're looking for in a carrier grade product. The gigabit performance is, is important. With today's applications, the fast Ethernet days are, are pretty much gone. We need to look towards higher bandwidths for these applications in this wired environment going into the WAN as well as the LAN networking. You know, these speeds are very applicable and the, the subscribers are looking for this ability within their home. Providing the whole home networking uh, latest wireless technology, 11AC, you know, as you can see, higher bandwidths are required. More connected devices need a dual band type of product to be able to do that. So we have essentially two wireless networks in a single device in a single home. And then utilizing the latest technologies like multi-user MIMO to help improve the communication and coverage within the home. Then being competitive in our market, there's so many different players out there and different solutions from the online in the big box stores. Where do you go and what can you utilize for a subscriber environment? There are many different feature sets that you know, sets your service apart from your, your competitors and competition in the market. And utilizing an endpoint device and using a gateway that can support that is essential. And management and the maintenance. So this is also another portion that, you know, allows you to have that visibility in there. Having remote management capabilities really sets yourself apart from the other competitors as well as the hardware that you use. If you have products that don't support remote management, then you're not going to have that ability to go in and see what's going on in the subscriber's environment and make those adjustments where you would be left to having to go back to scheduling an on-site visit and, you know, a, a high cost in the support. So quick, what is 11AC, you know? 11AC, the big benefits is it's basically taking radios and antennas and com combining those links into an aggregation, which gets you well above, you know, one gig in performance. 
besides the speed, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner, uh, multiple channels are, are utilized, as well as antennas for sending and receiving, saturate the connections between the points, less retransmissions, less drop wireless and interference, and ensures better connectivity within the home. So that brings us into the dual band wireless AC1300 gateway ethernet. This is our dual band EMG2881. It's an AC1300 with up to 867 megabits on the 5 gig and 400 megabits on the 2.411N. Two radios, two antennas. This does support a single SSID that covers both the 5 gig and the 2.4. Supports the latest technologies like multi-user MIMO. Does have Wi-Fi scheduling on and off. Also, it's all gigabit design from the, LAN, the WAN port to the four ports on the LAN. Priority queuing for your internet applications, as well as a remote management with TR69, IPv6 ready, and it has the ability to be deployed in a desktop on top of a table or wall mounting option. So the front and back panels, you can see, very simple. We have the power, the internet, and the, the Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gig. Then on the back panel, we have the on and off button. We have the WAN port in blue and then the LAN ports as well and the power button off uh, options. So again, key features, it's AC dual band uh, 1300, 867 megabits on the five and 400 on the 2.4. Uh, interconnected wired and Wi-Fi world together. Since it's a home router, it supports an AP access point built into it in a single device. So it has two devices in one. You can create multiple SSIDs. So you can create those guest networks and additional SSIDs in the device as well as media streaming, you know, applications like IPTV and VLANs and interface grouping. Those service provider features that we've employed in our previous products are also built into the EMG 2881, as well as a remote management, uh, the TR69, HTTP, FTP, and then the SMMP. What makes the Wi-Fi good? Again, the wireless chipset and then the array of antennas as well as radio, so two radios, two antennas, and it allows you to have uh, up to 867 megabits performance. Unboxing the EMG 2881, brown box. Then inside it, you get the gateway. You have a mounting stand that also allows you to wall mount or desktop mount the ethernet cable and then the power adapter. It's a 12 volt, 1.5 amp. So set up, pretty simple. You can just connect the stand to the back of the device, and this will sit up on the desk, or you can wall mount. You can see the options to put wall mounting. Then plug in your Ethernet cable to your internet connection, and then your devices with a hardwired connection. Turn the power on. You can see the power LED, and then you'll wait for the internet light to come on when it's ready. This is a single SSID for both the 2.4 and 5 gig. Each of these have the same SSID with the same key password, just so you know. This is not like our previous products where they have this whole home mesh system. This does have uh, separate frequencies, but they use the same SSID when you go to connect. So accessing the device. When you go to access it, you'll be prompted with the username and password. The default is address is 192.168.1.1. Default user account is admin. The password is on the back of the label. It's a randomly generated uh, set of numbers and letters that you would use on the back panel of the, the label of the product to gain access. There is a little wizard that goes in there. It tells you if you're connected or not. If you're not, then it tells you some quick troubleshooting steps. It's just really easy to skip out of that and go right into the options. So the menu options, there's a monitor page. The, the configuration for the device, the WAN, the wireless, the LAN, application security. And then the maintenance page is where you have your options for the device, like the password, the time, 
And when you're in the, the special account of the supervisor, you'll see that remote management TR69. In the status page, you'll have all your applicable information. You have your current firmware version. Uh, you'll have your WAN and LAN information as well as the Wi-Fi. And then you can see CPU and memory usage. In the internet section, uh, there will be the default interface that you can configure. Just click on the modify option here. And that will take you right into the setup and you can add your information to connect to your service. In the Wi-Fi settings for the 2.4, it's a quick drop-down option. You can select 2.4 or 5 gig. And from here, you have our default SSID, which can be changed. Then we have the hide SSID option, so it won't be broadcast. It's still physically there transmitting. And if you were going to connect to it, you need to connect to it manually. Then we have our channel option, which is set to an auto mode. And then in the event of troubleshooting, you have some issues, you can select a manual channel. Just know that when you select a manual channel, it fixes on that channel and it doesn't change. Where in the auto selection, it'll automatically scan and see what's the best channel. Then the operating channel, you'll have the option here to uh, select if it's uh, at 20 or 40 megahertz wide width, and you have the option for 20. Then the 802.11 mode, you have your modes, and by default, BGN is selected on 2.4. And then your security level, already predefined WPA2 PSK. It's on the back of the, of the label of the product, or you can configure that and change your own settings. 5 gig is very similar. Again, select the 5 gig option. You have it enabled, and then you can go ahead and uh, utilize the default SSID or change it. You can have the uh, hide the option as well. Auto channel mode and manual selection. Then you can select the operating channel. And there is display if it's on the auto mode. The channel width, you have your options for 20, 40, 20 and 40, and then 20, 40, and 80 since it's AC. And then your 802.11 mode, you have A, N, and AC option, as well as uh, predefined setup for uh, Wi-Fi security, WPA2, PSK, the predefined passphrase that's on the back label of the device, or you can create your own. Then in the guest networks, you, again, when you go to the guest networks, you select the option 2.4 or 5 gig, and you have your additional SSIDs that you can create for guest networks. This device with two radios can support up to eight SSIDs. So two defaults as well as three additional ones per band. And those can be configured by selecting the edit option. Once you're in the edit option, you, you activate it. You can add whatever guest network name you want, leave the default. You can hide it. You have the option for intra SSID blocking that prevents Wi-Fi clients from communicating with each other. You have the WMM QoS. That provides priority for the wireless clients and then your security level set it. For scheduling, it does have a scheduling option for the Wi-Fi. Again, you select the band, you enable the option, and then you just go ahead and select what times and days you want to create your policy and then select those and add those to your policy and apply the settings. Does have quality service, uh, bandwidth management, and you can do a general and set up priority queues and classifications for the interfaces. So here in this example, we're just doing a global setting for the downstream and upstream bandwidth, and you can set those in kilobits. But also does firewall rules, so you can create uh, your own customized firewall rules to limit the access out of the firewall and limit what can come in by creating a rule list here. And very similar to what we've done with our other EMG series products. For the remote management, we do support TR69. So TR69 with an auto configuration server and ACS gives you that ability to be uh, have visibility in subscribers home and help save time with routine maintenance and troubleshooting when uh, without having to schedule a site visit. So you can monitor the internet access and their usage, manage their Wi-Fi for them. You can also provide technical support on the fly. 
uh, improve the quality of service, you know, for their home network, add devices for them in the home networking, and then the biggest thing is the mass firmware update. So no longer do you have to schedule out three or four months of updates with a site visit. Now you can do this overnight with 100, 200, even, even more uh, connected uh, devices out there and update those firmwares so that everybody has the latest. That's done in the TR69 setting. So this is not visible for the admin user or the, the subscriber. So when you log into the supervisor account, then you'll have the option to get into the TR69 and apply your credentials and information for your auto configuration server. Uh, there is a supervisor account that you have to log into and it's the supervisor account plus the admin password with the addition of five, the last five digits of the EMG 2881's MAC address. Once that is applied, then you'll get this uh, into the account of the supervisor and you'll see the hidden tab of the TR69. So what this product works with, well, we have existing products like our WAP 6804. It can be paired up with this. Since the WAP 6804 is built on Wi-Fi standards, uh, you can connect this device, have it as an access point with a hardware connection or repeat it. And it works with our GS108i switch, the media switch that allows you for uh, multicast traffic. You can find out more information about this product on our website, go to zizel.com slash US, and you can go to the Ethernet gateways, you'll see the EMG2081, you see the, uh, the specifications of the device, you get the product images so you can see what it looks like. Also the user's guide, the quick and setup start guide, as well as the data sheet will be available for you there as well. So, is there any questions from any of the attendees out there? Yeah, Patrick, what is the main advantage of using the EMG 2881? So the main advantage of using the EMG 2081 is to provide that home networking with some of the latest wireless AC technology. The biggest thing too is the challenge of the big box store and online uh, retailers offering home gateways. You know, they could work very similar and have some functionality but when it comes to the service provider environment where you need interface grouping, maybe VLAN tags, or even the remote management, those uh, retail consumer products just don't support that. So you won't have that visibility into the network like you would when you, with the auto configuration server and TR69. Does the EMG2081 have support for the multi-user MIMO? That's a great question. So yes. The EMG2081 does support Wave 2 11 AC technology and it supports the multi-user MIMO environment. So you get the benefits of improved communication in, in the subscriber's home with, with 11 AC and Wi-Fi. Is the EMG2081 compatible with the whole home managed Wi-Fi system multi-pro? That's another great question. So. This product is not compatible with that. The reason being is we're, we're trying to keep this as a, more of an entry point, and we have one of our flagship products, an EMG3425, that does support that. So at this point, no uh, plans to be porting over the multi-pro whole home managed uh, system into the EMG2081. Since we used to offer the EMG2306, would the EMG2081 be the next replace model? Yeah, that'd be, that's an excellent question. So yes, the EMG2306 uh, has been discontinued and uh, it's no longer available. So to complete that and actually make our migration from 11N devices into 11AC, which is, which is why we introduced this new EMG2881.
will the EMG2881 have support for the TR181? That's another great question. At this point, no, no plans to support TR181. We do have a flagship product, that's that EMG3425, that will support it, as well as our EMG6765. So at this point, the EMG2881 uh, will only support TR69. So it give you pretty much the basics needed just to uh, have remote management in your network. The last question I have is, how many guest Wi-Fi networks can be created with the EMG2881? That's also a good question. So the, the EMG2881 is a dual band product, which means it can support up to four SSIDs per radio. So you have your single default that's on the 2.4 and the 5 gig, and then you have three additional SSIDs that can be created in each of those bands. So you total up to eight SSIDs can be created from one device. So is there uh, let's see, any other additional questions from anybody? If not, you know, we're always available. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else. Q and A. Uh, okay, so this is not a question to be answered in the webinar, but uh, how do both SSIDs made the same? Okay, so a question about so going forward, we're we're using a new technique with this product and trying to keep it simple, where it's utilizing one SSID but for two bands. And depending on the Wi-Fi client, it's going to have support to be able to choose which band to go to. The gateway itself has had some little bit of intelligence, so it's also going to pick the best band that's being utilized. So there is some intelligence in there. Uh, it's something that's coming forward with a lot more products, not just Zyzel products, but industry. So there'll be that ability built into it. This is one of the first products coming forward that has that. Um, okay. Uh, Okay, so we have uh, a competing uh, ONT currently utilizing in our and as a WAP as a WAP. Okay, so but we're also looking for a better option for this setup. What would you test as ISO option? Yeah, so the EMG twenty eighty one doesn't have the the mesh option built into it. It's really intended to kind of compete with those off-the-shelf, lower-cost gateways. The big difference is we employ, you know, remote management. We still have interface grouping that allows you to combine services into certain interfaces like the LAN ports or even the wireless, as well as VLAN tagging, priority queuing. You don't get those features in a over the on the uh, big box store online shelf. All they're really geared for is just basic broadband service. And there's, you know, some of those products don't even guarantee services built into it. So we still look at, you know, what service providers need to deploy. They need home networking, but they also need to be able to ensure that their services are gonna pass through from that ONT device into an ethernet router and then down to their subscriber to be able to, accomplish what they're doing and provide good service. So excellent questions. Yeah, definitely. I think that's it for questions. Any other additional questions out there? Okay. Okay, so can you compare and contrast to the advantage of 2081 with competing products? So, yeah, definitely. So, if, again, the biggest advantages we just talked about is the ability to have those service provider features. In those retail products, they don't have 
they have firewall, you know, they can route, they have Wi-Fi. But the biggest advantages for the service provider is going to be the ability to have the remote management, the support with TR69, which we interop with many different vendors of auto configuration servers and TR69. So you can kind of pick and choose, or we can help you recommend, you know, a, a vendor to go with and provide you that visibility into the subscriber's home so you can do the firmware updates remotely. You don't have to send the truck out there. In some events, you can have this pre-configured through your distribution partner and actually mail the product out. All they do is plug in the cables and the power and then they're pretty much ready to go. The other advantages too that are not, you know, really outlined that we did talk about is the evaluation program. So now you have a chance. If you go with a big box store or online retailer, you probably not have the ability to do an evaluation or test it in your network without having purchasing it. Here, we can send you the product without a cost. You can test it. All that we really require is just some feedback, whether it's good or bad, we want to know. So we can help improve our products for the next round. That gives you the chance to test it in your network, see if it works, see if it passes your stringent test with your engineering team, and then you have the confidence of deploying this in, in, a, in the environment. So the, the 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 other competitors, you know, you know, they're out there. We know who they are. You know, the different boxes, different antenna arrays. You know, you're competing with a big box store where they, you know, subscriber can go and buy their own product, or they get a discounted product and and they want to make it work. Here, we're really specialized for the service provider to make sure we have the the right feature sets that they're looking for to be able to accomplish this. Not only the 2081, but we have a couple other routers. We have three other routers that can be utilized and provide you whatever level of uh, feature sets that you're looking for. And everything is built on a platform that starts from, you know, a meager beginning and it builds up to higher performing devices. And that's what really sets us apart from those uh, competing consumer products that are out there right now. Okay, so. All right, thanks, Patrick. Well, if there are no further questions, I think that does it for today. Uh, just to let, a reminder, there's always a recording of this webinar that will be available to all the attendees, so you can view it at any time. If you have any questions, please email us directly. And if you have any problems locating the recording, We'd be happy to assist you. Please make sure to follow us on the leading social media outlets. If you need, you want to get more information about this product or other Zizel products, please feel free to contact us. Go to our website, fill out an inquiry form, or contact your local regional sales account manager for more information. Patrick and I would like to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to attend the event. We hope to see you all here again at our Zysel webinar.